One of the challenges that many home buyers have, especially first time home buyers, is saving up enough cash for their down payment and their closing costs. In this video, we're going to go over how you can do that. The first step in saving for a down payment is setting a goal. The best way to set a goal is to talk to a loan officer, believe it or not. They'll be able to look at your income and then from there determine how much your monthly payments can be and then translate that into a purchase amount. Once you have that, you'll get your down payment amount and your closing cost estimate. Now you know how much money you need to save to be able to afford the home of your dreams. Let's take the income first. Not only do you have the income from your day job, but do you also have a side gig or a second job that you can use to bring in extra income? Remember, the idea right now is to bring in as much cash as you possibly can. Let's take a look at the expenses, whether it be your rent, your dining, your groceries, your laundry, your utilities, your cable bill. Identify where every dime you bring in goes. Then look to see what you can cut. Can you cut any uh, bad habits? Can you cut, can you move into a place with cheaper rent? Can you not go out to eat so much? Did you know that the markup on going out to eat is about 300%? So a $15 lunch really can be made for about five bucks at home. That's a lot of savings right there. Look at your cable bill or your TV. How much are you spending on TV? What you need to realize is every dime that you spend is money that's not going towards your house. So take a really hard look at it. Once you have that, just remember sock every dime you possibly can away into a savings account. You won't get a lot of interest off of it, but at least that's money that you won't touch. We also need to look at debt. Look at your credit card debts. How much are you spending on credit cards and are those debts going up or those balances going down? Pay those off. That's money that once those are paid off, that's money that will get go towards your house payment. It's also gonna make you raise your credit scores. It's also going to make you look a lot better for the mortgage lender. So get your credit card spending under control. One of the best ways to do that is to put your credit card in a Ziploc bag, fill the bag with water, and then put the whole thing in the freezer. If you don't have those cards in your wallet, you won't be tempted to use them. For more ideas, give me a holler or respond to this email. We'll find a way to get you to get your savings on track. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.